हेलो एवरीवन वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल बीट द नीट एंड कैसे हैं बच्चों आप सब लोग एंड आई होप कि अब आप लोग बहुत अच्छे से रिवीजन कर रहे होंगे अपने सिलेबस का इन क्विक रिवीजन पॉडकास्ट के जरिए सो so, आप लोगों का मैं जल्द से जल्द सिलेबस कंप्लीट कराने की कोशिश में हूँ ताकि आपको जल्द से जल्द इलेवंथ एंड ट्वेल्थ के क्विक रिविजन पॉडकास्ट के सारे चैप्टर्स प्रोवाइड कर दिए जाए तो आई एम ट्राइंग माई बेस्ट बच्चों के कमेंट्स भी आ रहे हैं कि हाँ मुझे जल्द से जल्द इसको प्रोवाइड कर देना चाहिए और नंबर ऑफ वीडियोस एक दिन में बढ़ा देने चाहिए सो आई एम ट्राइंग फॉर दैट बच्चों मुझे भी चिंता है इस चीज़ की कि मैं जल्द से जल्द आपको ये चीज़ प्रोवाइड कर दूं ताकि आप अच्छे से रिवीजन कर पाएं एंड uh, आज हम लोग करने वाले हैं क्लास ट्वेल्थ का माइक्रोब्स इन ह्यूमन वेलफेयर सो ये चैप्टर अच्छा है इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर है एंड इसको हम फटाफट से कंप्लीट करेंगे इसमें कुछ स्पेसिफिक नेम्स जो है ना वो हमें याद रखने वाले होते हैं तो हम कुछ भी स्किप नहीं करने वाले हैं आप इसमें से पूरी तरह से एन को आप फील करोगे कि हाँ आपका वो पूरा रिवाइज हो गया है जितना भी इंपॉर्टेंट पोर्शन आपका एग्जाम में आने वाला है सो आई होप यू आर शेयरिंग विद योर फ्रेंड्स एज वेल एंड शेयरिंग योर ब्यूटिफुल कमेंट्स विद मी इन कॉमेंट सेक्शन थैंक यू फॉर दैट एंड इफ यू आर न्यू ऑन माई चैनल डू सब्सक्राइब एंड प्रेस द लाइक बटन and uh, don't forget to share with your friends it's a request always try to share with your friends my each and every video of this quick revision podcast and uh, let's start don't waste time in another thing so first of all that is the chapter microbes in human welfare so first of the thing we will see here that is the introduction so microbes are the major components of biological systems on this earth they are present everywhere in soil water air inside our bodies and that of other animals and plants they are present even at sites where no other life form could possibly exist like deep inside the geysers thermal vents it is where the temperature is 100 degrees celsius deep in the soil under the layer of snow several meters thick and in highly acidic environments microbes are diverse protozoa bacteria fungi and microscopic animal and plant viruses viroids and also prions microbes like bacteria and many fungi can be grown on nutritive media to form colonies that can be seen with naked eye such cultures are useful in studies on microorganisms microbes can be harmful and disease causing but many are useful to man in diverse way now the microbes in household products lactobacillus and other grow in milk and convert it to curd lab produce acids that coagulate and partially digest milk proteins at suitable temperatures it also improves its nutritional quality by increasing vitamin b12 in our stomach too lab play beneficial role in checking pathogenic microbes the dough used for dosa idli is fermented by bacteria dough which is used for making bread is fermented using baker's yeast that is saccharomyces cerevisiae toddy is fermented sap from palms microbes are used to ferment fish soya bean and bamboo shoots to make foods the characteristic texture flavor taste and specificity of cheese is due to the microbes now swiss cheese large holes are due to large amount of co2 produced by the bacterium propioni bacterium shermani and roquefort cheese that is ripened by a specific fungi which is given the which gives the specific flavor now the microbes in industrial products that requires growing microbes in fermenters fermented beverages that is saccharomyces cerevisiae is used for beverages production and called brewers yeast it is also used for fermenting malted cereals and fruit juices to produce ethanol wine and beer are produced without distillation whereas whiskey brandy and rum are produced by distillation of fermented broth antibiotics like penicillin that first antibiotic was chance discovery by alexander fleming while working on staphylococci bacteria when he observed that they did not grow due to growth of mold penicillium notatum its full potential was of discovered by chain and flore fleming and chain and flore were awarded nobel prize in 1945 chemical enzymes and other bioactive molecules aspergillus niger that is a fungus and giving Uh, citric acid acetobacter acetai that is a bacterium that is giving acetic acid clostridium butyricum that is a bacterium butyric acid and lactobacillus a bacterium lactic acid it is giving and saccharomyces cerevisiae ethanol so all these bacteria fungus these are used in the process of making these products citric acid acetic acid butyric acid lactic acid and ethanol helps them to convert into these product and uh, 
Streptokinase produced by bacterium Streptococcus and modified by genetic engineering is used as a clot buster for removing clots from blood vessels of myocardial infarction patients. Cyclosporin A used as immunosuppressive agent in organ transplant patients is produced from trichoderma polysporum that is a fungus. Statins produced by yeast monascus purpureus is blood cholesterol lowering agent. Now microbes in sewage treatment. The municipal waste water is called sewage. A major component of this waste water is human screta. It contains large amounts of organic matter and microbes. Before disposal into natural water, bodies like rivers and streams, it is treated in sewage treatment plants, that is STPs, to make it less polluting. Treatment of waste water is done by heterotrophic microbes naturally present in the sewage. Treatment is carried in two stages, the primary treatment and secondary treatment. So first of all, we will see primary treatment, that is the physical treatment. This involves physical removal of practical particles, large and small, from the sewage through filtration and sedimentation. Floating debris is removed by sequential filtration. Grit, that is a soil or small pebbles, removed by sedimentation. Solids that settle from the primary sludge and the supernatant forms the effluent. The effluent is taken for secondary treatment. And uh, in the case of secondary treatment, that is a biological treatment, primary effluent is passed into large aeration tanks and then after constantly agitated and air is pumped into it, this allows vigorous growth of useful aerobic microbes into flocks, bacteria plus fungal filament to form mesh-like structures. And now microbes grow and consume the major part of organic matter significantly reducing the BOD. Then effluent passed into settling tank where bacterial flocks sediment called activated sludge and then effluent from secondary treatment plant can be released into natural water bodies. Then after a small part of activated sludge is pumped back into aeration tank to serve as inoculum and rest is pumped into anaerobic sludge digesters. Then after an anaerobic sludge digester, anaerobic bacteria digest bacteria and fungi in the sludge and produce a mixture of CH4, H2S and CO2 that is a biogas. Then after microbes in production of biogas, so biogas is a mixture of gases predominantly methane produced by microbial activity. Methanogens like methanobacterium grow anaerobically on cellulosic material to produce large amount of CH4 along with CO2 and H2. These bacteria are commonly found in anaerobic sludge during sewage treatment rumen of cattle. In rumen, these bacteria help in the breakdown of cellulose and play an important role in nutrition of cattle. The excreta of cattle, that is dung, commonly called gober, is rich in these bacteria and dung can be used for generation of biogas so commonly. Now the biogas plant, there is a diagram in NCRT, you can open that diagram. It consists of a concrete tank that is 10 to 15 feet deep in which bio waste are collected and a slurry of dung is fed. A floating cover is placed over the slurry which rises when gas is produced due to microbial activity. It has outlet to transfer biogas. Slurry is removed and may be used as fertilizer. Biogas can be used for cooking and lighting. And the technology of biogas production was developed in India mainly due to the efforts of Indian Agriculture Research Institute that is IARI and Khadi and Village Industries Commissions like KVIC. And now the microbes as a biocontrol agents. So biocontrol refers to the use of biological methods for controlling plant diseases and pests. As use of insecticides and pesticides are harmful and polluting, our soil is also polluted by weed sides. Biological control of pests and diseases, it relies on natural predation. The process does not eradicate pests, instead keeps it at manageable levels by a complex system of checks and balances. Chemical methods kill both useful and harmful life forms indiscriminately. Beetle with red and black marking, the ladybird and dragonflies are useful to get rid of aphids and aphids and mosquitoes respectively. Butterfly caterpillar are controlled by bacteria Bacillus thuringiensis, Bt that is on plants such as brassicas and fruit trees. Bt toxin gene is introduced to produce Bt cotton. Fungus trichoderma common in the root ecosystem effective against several plant pathogens. Baculoviruses attack insects and other orthopods. Majority of baculoviruses are in the genus Nucleopolyhedrovirus 
they are a species sorry they are a species of specific narrow spectrum insecticidal applications uh, then after microbes as a biofertilizers we will see so basically organic farming uses biofertilizers biofertilizers are organism that enrich the nutrient quality of the soil and the main sources of biofertilizers are bacteria fungi and cyanobacteria root nodules in leguminous plants is formed by symbiotic association of rhizobium to fix atmospheric nitrogen into organic forms free living nitrogen fixers like azospirillum and azotobacter enrich the soil fungi plant root symbiotic association is called mycorrhiza glom sorry mycorrhiza glomus form mycorrhiza and fungi absorb phosphorus from soil and passes to the plant and plants also show resistance to root borne pathogens tolerance to salinity drought and overall increase in growth and development cyanobacteria like anabina nostoc oscillatoria etc fix atmospheric nitrogen in paddy fields bga it means blue green algae also add organic matter to the soil and increase its fertility now the some important points are here like the puffed up appearance of dough is due to the co2 gas toddy is a traditional drink of some parts of southern india antibiotic means against life in the context of disease causing organism but in context to human life they are pro life bottled juices are clarified by use of pectinases and proteases statins act as complete uh, competitively inhibiting the enzyme responsible for synthesis of cholesterol now bod that is a biochemical oxygen demand is the amount of oxygen consumed if all the organic matter in 1 liter of water were oxidized by bacteria bod test measure the rate of uptake of oxygen by microorganisms in a sample of water bod is a measure of the organic matter present in the water in our country a number of biofertilizers are available commercially in the market and farmers use these regularly to replenish soil nutrients and reduce dependence on chemical fertilizers microbes are a very important component of life on earth not all microbes are pathogenic many are very useful microbes play a major role in treating millions of gallons of waste water every day across the globe till date no man made technology has been able to rival the microbial treatment of sewage the ministry of environment and forest has initiated ganga action plan and yamuna action plan to save these major rivers of our country from pollution the biocontrol measures help us to avoid heavy use of toxic pesticides and controlling pest it is clear from the diverse uses human beings have put microbes to that they are important for our survival and isi ke sath hi aapka ye chapter bhi complete ho gaya and humne matr 12 11 se 12 minute mein humne ye pura chapter revise kar liya and i hope ki ye quick revision podcast aapne apne dost ke sath mein zarur share kiya hoga taki uska bhi itni jaldi se revision ho jaye so see you soon in the next video till then just stay tuned with me everyone bye bye take care